Just to start with, you know, surgery has a large role in metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Um, really, that comprises, I think, two clear and distinct domains. So firstly, there's cytoreductal nephrectomy, which is removal of the kidney uh, primary in the setting of renal cell carcinoma, and that may be upfront or deferred after a period of systemic therapy. And secondly, metastasectomy, which is a form of metastasis-directed therapy, um, basically dealing with a metastasis via surgical resection. Uh, so I think to start with, cytoreductal nephrectomy has a pretty important role. Um, historically, it was thought that you know it should be performed in all fit patients. I think that has really shifted with time as we've gained better systemic therapies. And I think you first have to really look at the, um, I guess, patient, the disease, and the overall next steps for metastatic disease. So specifically in the oligometastatic patient, I think a lot of patients that will undergo active surveillance um, or metastasis-directed therapy for their metastatic disease are good candidates for cytoreductal nephrectomy. Um, IMDC risk criteria is an important stratification, and we really want to do it in patients with, without significant um, IMDC risk. And I think you also have to look at the, I guess, surgical risk status and um, performance status of the patient and the morbidity of the proposed resection. Uh, I think really, you know, what we've learned in the last few years with randomized data is that it's not unreasonable to start with systemic therapy, assess for a response, and then consider a deferred cytoreductal nephrectomy down the line, which is actively investigated in a number of clinical trials right now and you know, could be a reasonable standard of care should they demonstrate that to be a benefit down the line. Um, but uh, you know, at this point, I think it's really an individualized decision based on some of those factors I mentioned. Uh, when it comes to metastasectomy, I think this too is something really individualized. Um, we really look for perhaps a solitary site where a complete resection could be performed, um, where the morbidity of the resection would be limited, uh, where there is a reasonable thought that um, you know, this may not be something that recurs uh, quickly. So if it's something perhaps that's you know, been a long-term um, metachronous recurrence that's delayed after dealing with the primary, um, I think those are probably the best candidates for metastasectomy as a good approach. Um, sometimes metastasectomy is performed for palliative reasons to help deal with you know, symptomatic lesions, brain or bone metastases, but I would kind of direct that as maybe a separate uh, category. And I think when considering metastasectomy, it's always important to consider alternatives like um, SBRT, which we're really understanding has a big role probably to play in the upcoming years in renal cell carcinoma.